Good morning from AfricaCom 2025 here in Cape Town. I'm together with Sudhir Chaganat, CEO of Telecables South Africa. Good morning, nice to meet you again. Good morning, Akim. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Good, thank you. Look, another year AfricaCom, another year Telecables here at the show. So what is new? What are the highlights? What can we be excited about this year's AfricaCom and Telecables? Uh, I think the, the important thing is uh, this year we decided to put value-add services over our network. Mm -hmm. As you know, last year we spoke about being the most interconnected operator in Africa, uh, most uh, peered. Uh, we have a lot of the African traffic, internet traffic leaving our network. Mm -hmm. So we decided to give our customers more value for that, uh, for that, for that service. So this year the theme you will see is Clouds to Africa and, and, and we decided to give back to the SMMEs and the enterprise uh, customers of our, of our customers to experience an alternate cloud solution. So, so when we talk about clouds to Africa, and we hear that a lot around this conference, even at Mobile World Con uh, Congress in Kigali, where we talk, for Africa, we need solutions from Africans for Africans. We need localized solutions. Can you tell us a bit more what clouds to Africa means for you and where, where does it come from? Sure. So in our, in, our, in, our, in our business strategy, we always speak about uh, global presence, local relevance, right? So we are a global company. Uh, although we take a lot of African uh, companies out of Africa into the rest of the world, we decided to build a solution in Africa for Africa. Mm -hmm. So you will find that our Clouds to Africa solution, the node or the infrastructure is located in Africa. Mm -hmm. In the African countries, we want to try and align with the data sovereignty. We want to try and align with keeping uh, the data in, con in country and in continent. Mm -hmm. So the plan for, for, for 2025, 2026 is to roll out more infrastru cloud infrastructure solutions locally in Africa. Mm -hmm. So we, we, take away the we take away the need for global connectivity mm -hmm. and should submarine cables fail or global uh, uh, infrastructure of the bigger hyperscalers fail, there's the backup option in Africa that can be used almost immediately. So what makes it so unique compared to global cloud providers? So besides the currency uh, charged in your, in, in your country, okay. uh, the data is kept local. The so there's no data going to another continent? No, no, definitely not. So, so that's the whole idea. We want to build cloud solutions that are relevant to the African market that keeps the information and data local. Mm. So when we look at that from a perspective of measurable differences in performance, cost, and service reliability, so could you share some few, few real-world examples of Clouds to Africa? Yeah, sure. So simple examples would be, uh, we've seen uh, what happened with the hyperscalers a few weeks ago. You know, they, they had some challenges. Yeah. And uh, we had customers that were using the storage and our backup locally. It was easy for them to restore that and use their... Uh, the instance of, of, of Clouds to Africa. Today we see the Red Sea almost down in terms of accessing content, and our customers don't really feel that challenge because their information, their applications, the data is all stored locally in country. So it's more like an empowering solution for Africans if they go with Clouds to Africa? Absolutely correct. So the, the solution is developed for to scale from one customer to, you know, five, 500 or if not plus more than that because of the cost factor because you are locally charging your currency, it's easy to access, we have a portal, customers log on, spin up a VM, create your application, load it, use it, it's all within the continent, it's all within the continent. So if, if, you, if you look at that from a pan-African perspective, is that the way to move forward and let's say to drive digital transformation when it comes from Africans for Africans? Uh, we, 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 we believe so, we believe so. As an African carrier, we are, we are that's our passion, to empower the local people with good world-class solutions. Mm. So Telecables has recently upgraded its national network from 500 gigabits per second to 800 and opened a new POP at Terraco uh, Samrand. What does this expansion mean for performance, scalability and customer access? Well, it means, it means a few things, but I think the important thing here is that it shows our investment in, Af in South Africa, it shows our growth in South Africa, and it's giving our customers better latency and quality to good content. So it's closer to the closer to the edge as you know we everyone's speaking about edge solutions, so we're putting the pops closer to the to the customers. All right. So we, we've seen over the last years 
many incidents where, and there was even a recent cable disruption in the Red Sea and uh, off the West African coast. So how is Taylor Cable's position to support international carriers and enterprises in the event of such incidents and of course to ensure business connectivity and continuity? That's, that, that, that's a good question. That's actually our biggest, our biggest differentiator today. Today we are an alternative provider. We own, uh, we are the majority consortium member on, on WAX. We own the SACS cable system between uh, Angola, Luanda, Fortaleza, and we're in partnership with Google on the Monet cable system. Mm. So as an alternate provider, if anything happens on either the Red Sea or the, or the West Coast, uh, Africa, we route the traffic to the alternate path to the US to fetch the content. So to be honest, none of our customers ever complained about being down during the Red Sea or during the West. West Which is a big benefit. Absolutely. This is our biggest differentiator. We're an alternate provider. We are not competing. We have solutions that are totally different to the other wholesalers or other carriers. And more importantly, we'd like to enable those carriers to see the value of having an alternate path and a backup query. Right. So finally, as cloud adoption accelerates across the continent, so what next phase of network and service evolution uh, are you preparing in Southern and East Africa? Uh, thank you. <clears throat> so for, for Southeast Africa, uh, the approach is very simple. What we've done is that we want to build a platform or a solution that enables our customers' customers. So we start with the infrastructure as a service, customers can load their platform as a service or load their software as a service, or even networking as a service. It's an enabler for our customers. So the strategy is to enable our customers to sell more solutions to their customers. Mm. Uh, and we believe by putting these nodes in local countries, it helps the, the, the carriers in those countries uh, not to worry about the CapEx investment. So we will enable them with the basic infrastructure or the basis of an infrastructure, infrastructure as a service where they can go and develop solutions to sell to their customers. And the outlook is promising. I mean, we're connecting the one next billion people on the continent. For you, it's more like a matter of time to wait until they really can benefit from everything that we deliver. Yes, correct. Well, that's the value. The value is to empower the people today that don't have access to digital content yeah. or digital, uh, digital uh, creativity, as an yeah. example. Because the platforms we, we, are, we, are, we are building and enabling our carriers with help the SMMEs in their market mm -hmm. and the entrepreneurs yeah. build solutions at a cheaper cost. Yeah. So this is what we try to do, you know, enable the unconnected Africans to be connected, but at the same time, besides connectivity, help you build a business. Yeah, sure. You know, that's the fundamental thing. Our passion is about connecting the unconnected, but empowering them as well. This is perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was Tech Africa News from AfricaCom 2025. You can find more on techafricanews.com.